It has been almost two weeks since the tragic ferry accident, and many families are still waiting for the return of their loved ones as rescue efforts slow due to the volatile seas. For more on conditions on Chindo and elsewhere in the country, we turn things over to our Kim Bo Gyeong at the Weather Center. Bo Gyeong? Guys, the weather on Chindo continues to stay relatively warm. However, conditions under the sea aren't working in our favor. Today through Friday is when we'll get spring tides, and this is when the speed of tidal currents reach their fastest. At the moment, tidal currents are moving at a rate of about 2.4 meters per second. Now, shifting gears to other parts of the country, the nation is under the influence of a low pressure trough from the waters south of the peninsula. This is why we're seeing heavy clouds and rain. Well, heavy rainfall advisories have been issued for some parts of the eastern coastal regions. Approximately 20 millimeters of precipitation per hour is falling along this area with a chance of storms. Things will clear up by later tonight in most parts of the country, but those on the eastern coast may want to keep an umbrella handy through Wednesday. Looking ahead at tomorrow's readings, Seoul and Gwangju make it to the low 20s while Daegu and Busan hit the high teens. Moving on to other regions, Dokdo and Mount Kumgang tops out at 16 and 10. Well, that's all the updates for now, and back to you guys.